Structuralism versus Functionalism Structuralists believed that there were structures, or elements of the mind, that makes us behave and think and feel the way we do. Think of a building like the White House. If I asked you to explain the structure of the building, you might point out the columns and the windows and the portico. In other words, you describe the parts of the building that all combine make it the White House. Well, structuralists wanted to find the parts of our brain that all combine make us act and think and feel the way we do. Were the early structuralists correct? Yes. Turns out there is a structure in your brain that helps produce speech. And a part of your brain that when stimulated makes you more aggressive and fearful. And so on. But, in the later part of the 1800s when this theory was popular, we didn't have technology like Enfimary or a PET scanner to identify these structures, so this approach pretty quickly was replaced by others. Functionalists were inspired by the work of Charles Darwin. They believed that every behavior must serve a function, or a purpose, otherwise the behavior wouldn't survive. So a functionalist might explore the question, what purpose does crying serve? Well, crying alerts others we may be in distress. Crying releases hormones that may comfort us. Crying gets the dust out of your eye. Modern-day psychologists wouldn't typically call themselves structuralists or functionalists, but the biological approach has a lot of elements of structuralism and the behavioral and evolutionary approaches certainly are rooted in functionalism.